because if you guys know me, I forget that a lot. And I am going to share a little screen with you guys. Hope y'all can see it. All right, pull it down. Okay, tell me if you guys can see my little cute little succulent. Yeah, are we good to go? Okay, so the first thing that we are gonna do when it comes to making our vision board which I think that this is really, really important, is to release anything that was holding you back in 2018. Okay, so before we go into this new year, you know, we might have like some bad energy or like some bad stuff. Maybe we had some goals that we wanted to hit, we didn't work out. Maybe we had like some relationship issues that we didn't get through. Maybe, you know, you're so mad at somebody that you need to forgive. Whatever it is, I want you guys to take some time to do this and to release so you guys can go fresh into 2019. So take some time to do that. So one of the things that I like to do is just kind of a releasing exercise that I'm going to teach you guys. Um, it's super simple, but I like to just, I have a journal, so I do a lot of journaling, but I just like to get out a piece of paper. And on this piece of paper, I just write, if I could release one thing, it would be. Okay, and it might just be one thing, but normally when I start writing, it is like a lot of things, right? It's like maybe getting mad at my, 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 my husband for something stupid, or maybe just like um, mad at myself for not re reaching certain goals, or I mean, whatever it is, I am going to release all of those things, okay? And so start out forgiving yourself about this. Now realize that nobody's going to read it but that you need to release it. You need to get rid of the energy. You need to get rid of the things that are holding you back. Those things that you're thinking of over and over in your mind, those things you're perseverating on, you need to write those things down, okay? After you do that, um, what I like to do is literally like, with that same piece of paper, I like to blow an intention. So it's almost like I'm kind of like blowing like into all of these words. And I have this all written down for you guys. So you guys can take screenshots on this of what to do. Um, but this is important to kind of do like the releasing. And it's more just like the intention behind it. So everything about these rituals that I'm teaching you guys, it's all about intention. It's about where your focus goes is where your energy is going to flow, right? So anybody that follows along with any Tony Robbins things, you know that it's really based on intention, right? And it's really based on the energy that you bring to it, okay? So this is just a silly little ritual, but it actually works um, to write down all of those things that are holding you back. And then with gratitude and with love and with compassion, I want you to release those things. Um, another thing that you can do and what I like to do too is I like to just light it up or sometimes I'll just like rip it all up so that I'm just like gone with it and so that the energy is like dissipated. Again, it just makes it like complete. Like, okay, I am done with that part. So if you have things right now that are in your life that are like maybe, you know, you're scared to set big goals in 2019 because of what happened in 2018, right? Maybe you're just scared to go to that next level because you never knew that was possible. Maybe you have somebody else's words that aren't true that are ruling your life. Okay, so I want you guys to think about all of those things and literally write them down because it feels so good before you do this vision board training, okay? Um, the next thing, obviously, is like the reset. So that reset that I was just talking about, that was like basically lighting it all on fire, ripping it up, being gone with it. Like I said, setting that intention of giving it back into, you know, the universe or the world or whatever, but you actually releasing yourself from that negative energy so that you can make the positive shift into your desires, okay? So once you guys do that, and I'm gonna give you guys some time to actually um, do some of this other stuff that we're gonna do right now, but if, take some time, please take some time to do the releasing exercise because it just freaking feels good, okay? So do that for yourself. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is our desires okay and here's a couple things that i want you guys to kind of think about when it comes to your desires all right so what when you think about it what are you most longing for in your life write this question down okay and the second question is at the end of your life what do you want to accomplish okay so what are you longing to accomplish in your life and at the end of your life, what are you wishing to accomplish, okay? So I'll tell you guys mine, I'll be vulnerable with you guys. So what am I longing for most in my life? 
For me, it's to have a life where I made a difference, where I work um, and uplift those around me, to be happy, healthy, vibrant, full of energy, to be a master of my routine, and to create a joy-filled life. Okay, so that's what my like ultimate longing for in life is, just to kind of give you guys an example of that. Okay, so give yourself a vision of kind of what your life is, what the desires are. And then at the end of your life, what do you want to have accomplished? What does that look like for you? So for me, I wrote to have a, been a loving wife and mother, to create a resources, podcast trainings um, that encourage health, love, and happiness and inspire others. So that's kind of what my my like life, I guess, destiny would be. Okay, so think about that. What do you want to do with your life? And then the next thing is, is what are you going to have to get rid of to accomplish your desires, right? So when I looked at that, what do I want to accomplish? If I want to master my routine, then I need to start getting up earlier, right? If I want to be the most healthy, happy person that I can be, then I need to make sure that I'm eating, you know, good foods, right? And that I'm fueling my body appropriately and that I'm drinking a lot of water and that the air that I'm breathing is clean, right? So those are the factors that are going to want to go into those kind of things. So explore those kind of areas um, when it comes to like what your deepest desires are. Okay. The second part is really your core values, right? So your core values are the words that really des describe like who you are as an individual. So what are like those utmost words? So here's some ideas for you guys. So like honesty, integrity, kindness, purpose, enjoyment, flexibility. When you think about your life and what you want your ideal, you know, your life to look like, and what's so crazy, when we think about all of these things, right, is how many of us right now are going, oh, this is like so great. Like, let's think about joy and happiness and whatever. And, you know, there is a lot of sadness in the world, right? And it's not always just like light. Like, there is dark that exists too. But what I think that is really awesome about dream boards is that what you focus on is what's going to be your reality, right? And that we can't always control what's going on around us. We can't control anybody else's circumstances, but we really can control ourselves and our own actions and the routines that we bring all right so when you think about some of your core values what are the words that you use to describe your life is it like learning is it um, wisdom humility um integrity uh, i probably said that love ambition think about those those words because you're going to want to be surrounding yourself with those kind of words when you're making up your your dream board Okay, the next thing that I really want you to think about is your gifts. So we all are really talented in different areas, right? And so what I want you to think about is what kind of talents, what kind of gifts do you bring into this world? And this is not one of those things, like I think it's just so many people think about, you know, that you're like bragging about things that you're good at. And it's like, no, people are just really good at some, some things. So sometimes it's hard for us to embrace the things that we're good at, right? Just because we get used to like, I don't know, kind of diminishing our efforts sometimes um, with other people. And so I want you to really think about like what your, what are your gifts? You know, maybe you're really artistic. Maybe you're really athletic. Maybe you're really kind or caring or compassionate. Um, maybe you're really empathetic. Um, what kind of, you know, what are your gifts that you bring? And so make sure you write those things down. Um, and then the last thing is really going to be like what your purpose is. And your purpose is going to come from these core values and it's going to come from your gifts, right? So if you're one of those people that's seeking and you're wondering like, what is my purpose in life? Figure out what your core values are. What are those words that light you up? Think about what you are, what your gifts are, what your talents are, the things that you are passionate about. In your passions is where you guys are going to find your purpose, okay? Um, so always kind of be directed and guided back to that. And um, I am somebody that I would never, um, I guess I would have never thought that I would change the course correction of my life. I always thought that I would be a registered nurse. I never thought that I would ever change um, career paths. So I just want those of you out there that have different goals, maybe than what you're doing right now, that are scared to seek out opportunities, maybe it's a different job, um, maybe you're trying to switch fields, that just to know that you can, you 100% can. And if you're not aligned right now, if your purpose isn't aligned with what you're doing in your work, set up a plan for yourself so that you can make that happen, okay? All right, so. Here are the six main areas of 
our life that I like to make my vision boards on. And I pulled some vision boards of mine in um, at the end of this so I can show you guys kind of what mine looked like. I couldn't find my most recent one and I just got a new phone so it's like not on there and whatever. I stopped looking for it. <laughs> so, okay, so here's are the six main areas of your life. Number one, career and influence. So you wanna make sure on your dream board and on your goals that you're setting, you know, and when I think of career and influence, you can make sure that they're like purpose-driven goals and purpose-driven vision. So number one, like what is your business look like? What does your job look like? What does your environment look like? What does it feel like? Um, what kind of money do you make? And more importantly, like who are you benefiting um, when it comes to your career? Um, when you get up in the morning, like how do you start your day? Are you rushed in the morning when you get up? Are you in a particular area? You know, what does that look like? So I know like when I first started, I really wanted to get up in the morning and have like a morning to myself where I could do like my meditation and I could do my workout and that it wasn't really rushed, right? And so I found out that I had to create that within my life by getting up earlier. So if you want these things, a lot of times, you know, that's why this 5 a.m. club or 6 a.m. club that people do to really change their lives, they do start getting up earlier to start kind of putting some of these things into motion. So what do you want your morning to look like? If you don't want your morning to be hectic, what kind of routines are you going to put into there? Also, like what kind of influence are you bringing into your community? Think about that too when you're setting these kind of goals. Again, feel. How does it feel? Because it necessarily doesn't mean when you reach some big achievement, when you reach, you know, say you set a goal where you want to make a million dollars a year in your business, what does that million dollars actually mean? What kind of impact do you actually have? What is that actually going to feel like? Because a lot of times we can set these big goals and it's just like this climatic event and then you're wondering why what? Right? So make sure that when you're doing this, that you're really making sure that you have a purpose behind the goals that you guys are setting. Okay, the second thing is relationships and family. So with here, think about your love relationships that you guys have. Um, think about like the time that you guys spend together. Um, how do you guys want that to look? Again, how do you want that to feel? Um, for myself, for example, I started scheduling date nights with my husband. I even started scheduling time that it was just like completely blocked off, completely unplugged, so I had family time. Um, I found that a lot of this stuff, especially with relationships and family, um, because I'm busy, it can easily get put to the wayside. So when I first told people I had to schedule in like date nights or something like that, people thought it was really ridiculous, but it was true because otherwise it wasn't going to happen because we're, you know, busy parents with three kids that run around all the time. So make sure you guys schedule that in together. Um, also, like what does your ideal family life look like? What is it like when you guys are all home? What kind of that, that, that dynamic does it look like? Maybe if you don't have children yet and you wanna have a family, what does that look like? What does that feel like? Are you guys all home together? Are you home? Are you guys both working um, separate careers? Um, but thinking about those kind of goals as well when it comes to relationships. Okay, community and connection. Um, this is really where it comes into friendships. Um, and when I think about this, and this is something that, I, this one was kind of hard for me to do, but when it comes to your friendships, like what does your friendships look like? Like is it a positive back and forth exchange? Are you supporting one another? Um, what, what, if you could have like ideal girlfriends, like what would that look like, right? Um, and I think especially amongst women, like it is so important that we connect. I feel like there was this, you know, high masculine energy for so long where it was like this competition and I just feel like, community and collectivity in the collective is so much more powerful. So, you know, are your needs being met in your relationships? Um, how are you engaging in your community? How do you fit in? And then how do you support or how do you nourish the community that you live in? You know, are there some volunteer things that you can do so that you can, you know, help out the community and make it better? Okay. Um, physical wellness, I hope this is helpful for you guys because I know when I was writing my goals, like I don't know what, I need to make sure I understand why, so I want to explain this to you guys. Okay, so physical wellness, this also includes spiritual wellness as well, so mind, body, and soul. Whenever I talk about this, I'm always talking about all three, but thinking about like how is your sleep? How is your energy? You know, one thing that I really realized that when I started my business, like I wasn't getting much sleep and I can operate on really not a lot of sleep, but is that really good for my body, right? So I end up getting like a little like watch just to be able to start tracking my sleep. There's apps and stuff like that, like next to, you can put next to your bed that are free. Um, but you know, how is your sleep? How is your energy? How is your strength and your flexibility? Um, how do you feel about aging? 
right? These questions to kind of ask yourself. Um, if you have any health problems, um, how do you feel about those health problems? What kind of goals do you have for yourself in those areas? So just some things to kind of think about there. Um, and then the last one is adventure, right? So play, right? So making sure that you're using the creative time, that you are, you know, setting uh, travel adventures or time with your family, um, that you have set, set time to be creative. I think so often as adults, we get into this mode of like working, 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 and taking care of the kids, and we stop and we forget to play. So make sure that you set goals for yourself, that you have outlets, right? Whether it's um, drawing, or maybe you like to go horseback riding, or maybe you like yoga classes, or um, maybe you like to paint. I mean, we all have these different creative talents that we like to do. Maybe you like to travel. Make sure you guys are scheduling those things into your dream boards as well okay so those are the areas there there's actually there's six if you have the um physical and spiritual health but i just kind of included them together so those are the five areas that you're going to want to be setting um your goals for so that you have kind of like a holistic approach uh okay so i just kind of put this on here because um there is actually a science behind vision boards so the more that you look at something, the more that you think in a positive way about something, your brain creates these neurological pathways, right? So if you think even just like Pazlov's dog theory, right? How you like ring the bell and give him the toy, right? These pathways are formed. It's the same thing when we do affirmations. It's the same thing when we use vision boards, okay? So looking at your goals on a daily basis, multiple times a day, you're going to have them forefront in your mind and you are going to be knowing where you're going. So I have, and it's not on my new phone, but normally on my phone, I have it like as a screensaver and I just like put it like right here so that I'm constantly looking at it. Um, also, I will put it on the back of my computer um, as well so that it's just like looking at me there and I can kind of cross things off and I'll show you guys that like kind of as we go around along. But it's not just like, you know, this like woo woo thing, like create this vision board and all your stuff is going to come true, right? It's just the fact that you're actually like looking at your goals and you're constantly reminded of them. And I think the fact that you put the energy into it, you know, you feel, and that's what really this is all about. It's the feeling behind things. Um, that feeling is what that creates that emotion. So here are some steps for you guys. Number one, you're going to create a list of the things you like to achieve in the next year. So what it is that you guys want to achieve, go through those six different areas that I gave to you and write down all the things that you guys want to achieve. Um, and dream big, like for real, like dream big, get out of your own way of what like would have, could have, should have been, because that's half of the problem, right? We don't set these big enough goals for ourselves. So really, really stream big about your goals because amazing things can happen, right? And then you're gonna wanna um, find pictures that represent your goals and inspire you so you can focus on them. And the biggest thing, thing here again is like how these pictures make you feel. What do they make you relate to? What do they make you want? What do they mean behind these photos? You know, so that you're looking at them all the time, you have them. And so I remember actually when I first started doing this, I'll show you guys on one of the boards, um, I was going for this big rank in our company and I really wanted to earn this trip. And so I started to surround my office with all of these different things from the places that we were going. And I had it on my board so that I could stare at it and so that I could know like this is where I was gonna go. And so it was almost like when we hit that big goal, it was like, of course this was going to happen because I was so immersed in it. So that's really the power of, of vision boards. Um, they're amazing, okay? So after you kind of find your pictures, then you're gonna make a collage out of your photos. And then I like to kind of add, like we said, those little affirmation words or those power words that really are your value words of your life. Put those on your boards really how you kind of make you feel. Um, you can do this like every year. Um, last year, I did it like six months into the year again because I kind of like accomplished the stuff that I wanted to accomplish. So whenever you feel like you need to be motivated, whenever you feel like, you know, you want to kind of take like a different direction with your life or really get realigned to like your purpose-driven goals, um, this kind of assignment would be really awesome for you guys to do. Okay, so just a couple thoughts. Um, look at your dream board often. Um, because if you feel it, again, that inspiration is there. Um, like I said, hold it, make sure that you guys are there, and then read the daily affirmations and your inspirational words aloud. Like really, it's different than just like reading them silently, but when you actually read them aloud, you have the neuropathways from your ears, you've got the double, you got the 
ears. And then you also have like their, your talking as well. So it's more likely to get like imprinted. <laughs> that didn't sound too like psychological, but you all know what I mean. Um, and then um, feel yourself in the future. So one thing too, that I'm just gonna stress quickly before I show you guys my vision boards that I made in the past, that when you guys start to make your vision boards, like get in the feeling that it has already happened. You know, don't be like, oh, I'm just gonna put this out there like spaghetti against the wall. Like get into the feeling that you have already achieved these things and that you're already living the life that you want to, to live, right? Um, because that's the other key to it too. So believing that you can, because you can. So this is kind of like one of the first ones that I made. Um, and as you guys can see, like I just kind of like crossed them off. Um, as I went as I went through them. So I had like some fitness goals here This is a time in my life when I was doing bikini competitions um, But I had just like set some goals like here and I just like crossed them off as I went by and I had them like on my On my vision board and then here's just like another one that I made so including like I got a little bit better with this one <laughs> including charity goals meditation goals uh, business goals again um, family goals my faith goals um and uh physical physical goals so and i can't find my one that i just had which is like killing me so i'll have to if i find it i'll post it into our event but here's just some of the some of the ones that i have done in the past and i can tell you that like almost everything on these boards have come true and i really feel that it's because like of the visualization and it's because of constantly having like my goals and my dreams always in front of my face so I'm going to stop this share quickly. Grandiose. Okay, so do you guys have any questions, first of all, about creating a vision board? Anyone? No. All right, awesome. Yay, cool. All right, so do you guys want to create some vision boards? Are you guys ready to do that? Because <laughs> you're looking at me like, right, right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording right now. So then I can turn some music on. And um, I will quickly show you guys some apps that I like to use because I create all of mine on Canva. So I'll show you guys like how easy that is. And if you guys want to like work along with us, you guys can. And um, if you guys want to do it on your own, you're more welcome to do that too. Okay. But let's get the, the stuff recording.